Buenos días. Hola. ¿Es posible escuchar nosotros? Gilda. Vale, así empezamos el webinar. Uh, saludos de Rusia, de City Business School, y hoy invitamos a nuestra profesora uh, con gran experiencia. Aquí está, se llama Natalia, Natalia Ipsigiva, aquí está muy famosa y espero que uh, les gustará mucho. Natalia. Good morning all. I'm very happy to hear you, to see, not to see you, but to, to have this uh, uh, chance to meet you uh, in our webinar. Uh, my name is Natalia Yevtikheva. I am the Director General of the Russian Association of Business Education and the <coughs> National Accreditation Council of Business Education in Russia. And, and at the same time, I'm the dean of the one of the leading business schools in Russia, and I'm uh, the full professor in city business schools, uh, where I, I'm sitting now and have a chance, and, and I'm very happy to make this presentation. As I know, I know that Irina just downloaded the, uh, my presentation in English, and you can uh, you can uh, have it in the from downloaded from your Google Docs. And if you want to follow me with the, with the presentation, I would appreciate and um, you will be um, more in, 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 our, in, our, in our content. So we, uh, the, the, today we have the topic, we have the, uh, we have the um, just as, uh, uh, this webinar um, dedicated to the cross-cultural aspects of doing business in Russia. Um, we know that we are all different. We live in the big world, and this world is very, very uh, complicated and very diverse, and uh, we have a lot of different um, communication, uh, communication um, mistakes, cross-cultural mistakes uh, when we communicate with, with each other. And I know that if you are looking for business doing in Russia, you need to understand what are the main values, the main um, communication styles the, um, in, in, in Russia and how you, and how you can uh, not fail but benefit and be the, um, have the success in the business in, in, in Russia. Uh, first of all, um, if you are with me now, I can ask you, um, why do we make cross-cultural mistakes? Um, as you know, we have the three main courses of communication failure in cross-cultural relationships. Uh, there are the problem of problems of perception, um, how we, we personally understand the situation, the problems of stereotypes, uh, how the, uh, the stable images and uh, estimations of people, um, how um, they, uh, they um, estimate the different events and uh, basic observations, and the communication noise. And of course, when we talk with each other, we need to we need to keep in our memory that all these um, <clears throat> mistakes we can do if we don't know about this um, main um, stones where we can break and where we can fail. So <clears throat> uh, I know that you want to. Uh, they the, the people told me that you want to uh, have some information little information about Russia and uh, what are the main uh, pic uh, peculiarities of Russian business culture. Is it okay uh, with this yes. information? Yes, great. Yes, <laughs> okay. Uh, please, if you have some questions, write it. You, I, you can write it either in English or in Spanish, and Irina will translate it for me if you uh, write them in Spanish. But I would appreciate if you have questions, I would like to answer if I know the, if I know the answer. So if we if we if we uh, just um, talk a little bit about the peculiarities of Russian business uh, business culture, we need to uh, give you some figures. Uh, the Russia is um, the formation of Russia is uh, eight eight hundred eighty two. It was started as the Kiev Kievan Rus Kievska Rus in Russian language Kievska Rus, 
And since, since, that, since that time, we know that Russia, um, Russia is, um, appeared as the country on the, on the map of the world. The territory of Russia is the largest in the world. This is the largest country in the world uh, from the territory point of view. It's about 17 million, uh, 98,400 square kilometers. Uh, you know that um, we have the big territory from uh, from the uh, uh, from the from Europe to the uh, far east and from the border with Kazakhstan and the uh, uh, Caucasus uh, till the um, North Ocean, North uh, North Ocean, and the population now is about is uh, about one one hundred forty six million people. This is the ninth population in the world. And you can understand that the first 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 um, position in the territory and the ninth population in the world, it's really a big a big uh, player on the international market, international policy, and uh, in, the, in the world. Uh, we have um, we have nine time zones, nine time zones. When the people in Far East and Vladivostok and Kazakhstan wake up the moscow people are still sleeping and uh, it, it, we need to understand because it's very difficult to uh, to work in business to communicate with the, in this in this in this distance uh, you in moscow need to understand at what time is better to to uh, talk with your business partner in in far east the same as we can understand that with you 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 have now the morning we have now the late evening and the same we have in our country it's quite difficult you need to understand because in businesses we have some uh, uh, implementation of this in business uh, we have the climate zones from arctic to sub subtropical i told you now gdp is the sixth position in the world three and the nine in the eight uh, trillion uh, land borders with not, with 18 countries with 18 countries who held the land borders and the length of borders is 61,000 kilometers and we have more than 100 languages in our country um, the official language is Russian you know that all of our the, the, the government the, the president uh, administration and all the main uh, the major uh, federal um, federal institutes of course they all of them are talking in russian but as we are the multicultural and multinational country each region has has its own uh, uh, regional language and th those languages are about 100. so <clears throat> what are the main ideological and cultural streams which influence russia of course we uh, we not we we uh, we didn't appear in some uh, some desert. Of course, we are. We, as Russia as a country appeared in the environment, and from west, like Vikings, we've got the important important international trade lifelines, uh, um, like the, in developing of trade and trade business from Vikings to Greeks, from Vikings to Persians, and like that. And uh, we still have the the line of the. Um, old trade union um, and uh, we we uh, understand that some of our uh, some of our relationships some of our business are still uh, following the ganzeski ganzeski uh, uh, commitment <clears throat> from east we uh, we had the dam ford which uh, for 300 300 years was uh, we the russia was under the occupation of uh, um, Damned horde, and from that time we uh, the, the, we can uh, we can uh, identify it at the beginning of all Russian national uh, patriotism and national religious uh, religious ideas. Uh, we need to say we need to um, struggle against against some enemies against those who wanted to occupy our country and. Uh, from that time we we uh, the the collectivism in our business in in our life started and the russian is still very collective country we need to combine our strength to struggle against the enemies 
From south, we have the grace and spiritual heritage of Byzantium implemented in five gifts, uh, religion, law, vision of the world, art and literature, and orthodox Christianity. We've got the orthodox religion uh, since 988, given from Byzantia. And um, you know that we are also we are Christian, Christians, but we are Orthodox Christians, not Catholic Christians. And this we, we've got from, from south, from Byzantium. The main factors which formed Russian business are uh, there, uh, and they have the, the, strong, um, the strong influence on Russian business. The national environment, climate, and vast territory. Uh, we, the climate is very strong. It means that we need to adjust our business uh, for, this, uh, for this climate uh, situation, the climate changing. We have the very strong and very long and very cold winter. And this period, we have uh, not any agriculture. Agri we, we don't have a lot of agricultural works. It means that we have the very short period of good um, good climate where we can make where we can need to be very uh, active in uh, in agriculture in agriculture business. And the rest time it's about seven or, on, or eight months. We have cold and snow, which don't allow us to make the agricultural business and in the civilization we are locating in the middle between the east and west it means that in our uh, culture in our uh, habits in our values it's a lot of um, characteristics from both sides from um, east uh, collectivism uh, attitude to the older, elder people and the um, patient and like that. And from West, some categories of individualism, uh, some categories of business and like that. Um, so some, some questions. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay. Uh, thank you, thank you. So, I will try to make my language easy. Uh, I understand that maybe you are not so um, so fluent in English. Yes, your, your, your language is Spanish. I also need to tell you that my, langu my native language is Russian. <laughs> English is not my language. But of course, uh, I, I'm just more in this content. Okay, I will, I will uh, make my language easy. So, um, social and culture, we work hard, very, very short period. Um, what products we could trade with you? Uh, what products are you interested in trade with us? Uh, Russia is the, is the big, very big country. We have a lot of businesses with different countries. I know that you are the Latin American country, and uh, um, of course you need you need to find what you are looking for in, for Russia. Uh, tell me, please, uh, what are you? What is your question about what products we could trade with us? Each all products, I can tell you all products. What you want? What is needed for your country? In which products we can be um, unique for you? Okay, okay. <clears throat> what are the latest trends in Russia? Uh, we have the demographical trend. Technology. Ah, technology, technology. What kind of technology we can um, and some fruits. Ah, some fruits. Okay, technology is it's a very interesting uh, it's a very interesting uh, point of discussion because of Russia is quite strong in technology, um, but uh, you need to understand that we have the problem with uh, not all of Russian 
young generation can also fluently speak English, and technology needs to 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 have this the uh, speaking um, English speaking countries. Of course, we have some. Um, um, we are um, quite advanced in uh, in space technology, in um, military technology, in IT technology also. But biohazard best treatment. Biohazard best treatment. Those technology. Um, so you know maybe this is not the the details in which i'm the special a specialist and expert expert I, my question is about cross cultural communications and business cross cultural yes but i'm not sure that i am the expert in in, in biohazard and the um, vast treatments i'm sorry maybe you can ask those questions and uh, the people from city business school will find you the the exact expert who can answer you i'm sorry yes and the, the um some fruits uh, you know that we have the russia is uh, the country where the the main part of the territory is uh, is locating in the um, north part uh, i am not sure that we are that we are quite um, yes Krasnodarsky, of course we can we can we can uh, grain some uh, uh, apples um, watermelons but i'm not sure that we are so strong to export them um, we usually we import some fruits more we, more we import fruits uh, from different countries especially the citrus fruits because we don't have a lot of plantation to uh, grow the citrus only in krasnodarsky cry and some some uh, regions near the Caucasus but not all of them you know you can you can if you look at the map of in the map of the world you can find that the main part of russia is in the in the northern part so fruits is not not our strong strong position not our strong position so in this kind of in this answer this answer is not so maybe not so interesting for you so uh the latest trends in russia uh, we have the demographic trend. So, uh, number of births, deaths, and migration of, for both directions. Um, ethnic Russians are living now uh, are living country, and we can we can see this uh, movement. Yes, and the um, former USSR republics are mass coming in. So after the uh, breaking of the un uh, Union of the Social so of the Soviet Social Republics, uh, we, we were split for the 15 republics as we were, as you know, maybe you know that we were in one big country, USSR. After that, we were split in the 15 diff different countries and uh, Russia became the strongest part of this um, after this uh, uh, splitting, this the, the divide and uh, a lot of um the other countries uh became more and more poor and a lot of people the working people started to come to russia to find their work to, to find the job place and this movement we can see now and this movement is very strong so as the result we have the assimilation and the changes in the national structure of the population and the, uh, and culture and we also have the new the new name like new asia's new asia uh, new asia is the part of mm, russia which became more strong and the, uh, the asian people including chinese including korea's people they are coming to the far east of russia and of course they also are stimulating in that part so we have the new asia thank you so much the new old mm -hmm, mm -hmm. being as an agriculture based country how open is russia to consider import products from uh, and in it is not quite uh -huh, and in regards to communications if there is a possibility of that business which would be the main focus point to attract russian investors 
Ну, это совсем вопрос не пойти, абсолютно, просто не пойти. Просто не пойти. Ну, я не знаю, как он отвечает. Да. Let me continue, because the questions are not, um, no, not related with the subject uh, on which uh, City Business School invited me today to talk with you. Um, the new old, uh, how could we make the business with Russian companies? Of where we're opened, you could, you could make the business with Russian countries. How making some efforts? And uh, try to find the right partner in Russia. Try to find the right partner. Understand what they are looking, uh, what they are looking for with the cooperation with Guatemala, and uh, only, only, only with efforts, only with your uh, efforts of doing this business, you can find the partner. The, the question is, how can we do it openly? Uh, to making some some steps to do it, but you need to understand this, the the peculiarities and specialities of our culture, especially in business. Um, the Western part of Russian moves very rapidly towards the Anglo-Saxon model. Uh, <clears throat> but the far eastern part of Russia integrated into the Oriental culture, moving closer to China, Japan, and Korea. This is the, uh, do you have exchange program to learn Russian? Uh, no, this question is mainly for the institute who invited me to talk on that. Maybe you have some uh, exchange program to learn Russian at the school business. Yeah, this is the question to, to Irina. Irina, can you ask a answer, please? Uh -huh. uh, la question is, uh, do you have exchange program to learn Russian? Puedo dar la contesta. Ahora estamos trabajando con estos programas. Uh, el primer programa será con Australia. Y probablemente el año siguiente o dentro de dos o tres años vamos a trabajar con Guatemala también. ¿Por qué no? Creo que sí, todo es posible. Uh -huh. So, if we continue to talk about Russia, uh, talk about Russia and about the, the, the Russia in business and the Russia in different models of uh, cross-cultural management. Um, first of all, um, if we talk about the main values of Russian people, main values of business, so we need to understand that Russia is a very sentimental country. Uh, we we all we have the the meaning like Mother Russia. We like our country, and we are very sentimental people. Uh, if you if we're talking about our country, we have the respect for elderly people. Mm, stoicism in um, adverti, adverti, adversity. They are very uh, uh, destruct of officialdom, pessimistic sometimes. Uh, fear of change, passive sometimes, but at the same time we can be so active. Um, we collective people and personal touch and personal attitude at the same time. So my my question or my my task was to just to aware you a little bit about the cross cultural uh, aspects of how to do the business in Russia. To understand if you need to go to this market and if you want to go to this market to understand how can you work with the russians uh, work uh, with the benefits not with fail yes um if you if you can or if you can ask me uh, what are the main characteristics of um, russian business and how can we uh, and how can we what what do we have the in similar with by the way with the other countries i can i can tell you that um we one second i have some yeah. 
So if you if you can find in my in my in my uh, presentation which I gave to you uh, the characteristics of uh, different different um, cluster of cultures like multi-active, linear active, and reactive. Uh, this is the model of Richard Lewis. Uh, you can find the different characteristics of, the, of those of those um, of those uh, cultures. And uh, Russia in this model is um, very, very close in some in some characteristics with the Latin American countries. We also speak a lot. We also can make some different different activities in, in one time in one time all together, not step by step like Germans prepare to do. Yes, like linear active uh, cultures do. But we can do all together. We are very friendly. We um, we have the we are the, the the level of generosity is very high for us. With family closeness, we like our families, and we live for uh, for many years. All the family can live together, like in Latin America, like in India, like in different countries, like in Far East countries, like in China and in Japan. Uh, our families also live together. Um, you cannot can find the difference with the american families where 17 or 18 years and okay you are living separately and doing you're doing your own business you have your own life and the parents are just separating your their uh, children from uh, from them uh, in russia we have the same i told you that in far east countries and in, in asian countries in regarding the russian culture how is hello how is handling the competition there? Is is open competition, or you are more jealous or close to have other companies offering new options to a possible business with engineer? Even Russian culture. How is handle the competition there? Russian culture. No, no, no. No, no. Competition is competition. How cut, cut, is, is, is open competition or you are most jealous of those two huh? other companies offering new options to possible business? Well, this is a very complicated question, but anyway, I will try to understand. I will try to answer. So, of course, we have the competition, but in Russia, still the, um, uh, the hand, hand uh, rules are very strong. So if you have some connections, um, it's of course it's kind of corruption. We can say say it like that. Um, of course, if you have some connections, you can use your um, telephone uh, telephone rights, and uh, that can make a, a, a strong strong plus strong benefit to your winning of this competition in any trap in any. Um, uh, Yes, but but if you strong in business, if you can um, prove that you are strong and do, you, that you can do your work, and um, you have a lot of chances to win any tender. Uh, this is the this is the new new. Uh, New, uh, um, in new advantage in our business, in, in our new business now in Russia. So if you are really strong, you can win, you can win tenders, and you cannot use any uh, telephone rights and any hands with your connections. That is the that that was the question. So uh, we are very very friendly country. We have a soul of friendship. Well, we love theater, we love belly, we love music and opera. We are very um, art, art advanced country. And uh, in this kind, we are very close to your country because Latin America is, is also very, very uh, uh, art advanced country. We uh, have a lot of talents in literature and we are world famous in literature. We have the technical abilities and the um, sense of humor um in sense of humor we are more close to uh, denmark finland and uh, britain people um and uh, you can find a lot of uh, common 
common um, characteristics, common um, peculiarities, peculiarities with the Latin American countries. And um, also, we, um, we like to work with the people whom we are very close to. That's why we can make a good business with Indians, uh, with uh, Asian countries, uh, and with Latin America as well. And you know that we have some good cooperations and good contacts with the Latin America countries. And um, we have a lot of cooperations in education also. We have the joint programs with the, some universities in, in Brazil and the Argentina. So what, in general, business matters, relations are more oriented towards the business or the relations. Okay, good question. The written communications are more direct or formal or colloquial. But in general, business matters, relations are more oriented towards the business or the relations. We are still oriented on the relations. Of course, Russia is the country with uh, traditions, with an old, uh, very old and long relationship, and still we have a, we have facing in, also in business more in relations. If you uh, if you rely, the relation. If you trust the the main the, the main word the main word word is trust. If you trust people, and if you have the, the relationship with those people, and um, if you trust, you can make a lot of business. Uh, if you just like the person with whom you want to work, and if you know that um, he has some positive projects in, in past like that, you will do the work with him. Uh, that's why we are very open. We are very open and more, uh, more people oriented, more people and relationship oriented in business as well. Uh, what, what, what does it mean, kind of traditions? Uh, tra uh, Russia is a very um, traditional country, of course. We have the traditions uh, um, connecting with the family. We um, uh, orient. We are all. We oriented on the traditions of all countries. Uh, we have the traditions of helping the uh, the elder people um, how to live to support them. Uh, of course, uh, even if we have the the um, pension, the after we uh, retired from the work, we have the pension. Uh, still, we have the tradition of helping the old uh, the old people to. To maintain for the for the light for the last years we have the tradition of helping children um, as I told you we do not if you are asking about the traditions in in, in, in Russian uh, habits in Russian uh, um, in Russian in mood society. like this in the society uh, if you ask about the traditions in business I told you that we are uh, a people oriented country we have the traditions of um, um, doing business with those whom we trust this you're right and this and this uh, and this question you're right um what else we can take about i tell about the traditions serena can you help me please just um uh, please if you can identify and specify the question i will i will answer you um but but we can uh, we can see the latest trend the latest trend is that the young youngest generation I like asked uh -huh. i ask that that to know more the culture and your people i, I ask that to know more the culture and your people yes i am telling you about that and um, we can we can uh, see the latest trend also in our country as you can see in your country um, I'm talking about the new generation, the generation Y and the new generation Z. The generation Y is more um, Anglo-Saxon oriented. So they are uh, more individual than, co than uh, collective. And of course, they can, uh, they can start business with, with uh, not the family, with not the people whom, whom they have the relationship and also with whom they trust. They can organize the, the business with uh, other people because they are more individual, individual oriented. 
Ah, the traditions. Oh, yes. Okay, I can. We yes, we like we like the holidays. We like the holidays very much. We have the tradition of um, celebrating the main. Um, the main. No, no, no. The, the main. The main. No, 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 no. Holidays in our country. Yes. And if you ask me what is the main holiday for me, and the main important holiday for me, I will tell you that the 9th of May, the victory in um, the, our in the victory in the Second World War, the Russian victory in the Second World War. Uh, we have, in each family, uh, still we have the people who uh, have their uh, relatives or who, the, the people who are still alive, they, they were, uh, uh, during the the Second World War, uh, they were we were in hospital fighting. They took part in this war, and we still uh, very much uh, um, take care of them. This is the tradition, yes. and it is very well proud of them. Yes. Uh, the second holiday, the most important and which we like very much, is New New uh, New Year. We don't celebrate as you celebrate the Christmas. So, yeah, I know that uh, Catholic people, most of them, they celebrate the Christmas. So the Christmas is coming and will be just in, in less than 20 days. And I also have a chance to greet you all with the uh, coming uh, Christmas. But in our country, we have the, the main, the main uh, holiday we have not on the 25th of December, but uh, from 20, 30, 31st of December to, to the 1st of January. We celebrate and we welcoming the coming of the new year, not the, uh, the, the Christmas day, but the new year. So on the first, 31st of December, the year, the, year, the previous year finished, and at the time of 12 o'clock in the night, we celebrate the coming of the <coughs> new year with the uh, raising the glass of champagne uh, with the um, uh, greetings of our president from the television and this is the main uh, new york holiday and after that we have the 10 days uh, 10 days uh, holiday uh, in, all, in all our country only the people who are in um, service who are working in service they still work but the rest are going for the holidays for, for 10 days or for two weeks Mm. That is the, that is our um, traditional holiday, the, the main traditional holiday. But, please. Yes, please. Uh -huh, I'm trying to negotiate with Russia some tariffs, tariffs for our company of communication, but having being able to get to the middle point of both parties because different interview. What is the best way to have more fluid contact and probably negotiation? Yes. Тяжело идет контакт с Россией, да? Thanks for sharing with us. Thanks for sharing with us, Ирина. Ира, это что такое? Я не поняла, что такое. Это не понимаю, что такое. Ага. Uh, I have tried to negotiate with Russia. Some studies on, 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 of telecommunication. Um, Елена Мария asked about, uh, she, she tried to negotiate with Russia some um, tariffs for our company to, of telecommunications, but having been able to get, but having been to get uh, uh, to the middle point for both partners, for different scenarios. Okay, maybe you didn't, uh, maybe you didn't uh, put yourself on the um, place of your partner and, uh, and never uh, tried to understand their interest. I think that uh, in any in any negotiations with any with any countries with the different the countries with the different culture, you need to put yourself on uh, their part and try to understand their interest in this in this negotiation. So what they will benefit from your uh, from your cooperation. If you can if you can uh, uh, offer some interesting things. Um, uh, they they should be interested in, uh, in this contract and this cooperation. I th I think so. Try to find the other person to communicate. Maybe this is the maybe here you 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 find the communications 
in your communications uh, barriers and uh, make some communications uh, noise try to find the other person to communicate i think that you can uh, you can uh, benefit from that you can have the advantage for that okay what else what are some other questions about the holidays let me finish and then we can uh, uh, proceed a little bit yes so then about the holidays uh, we have also the the international women's day uh, it's on the 8th of march we also love this day because in, in on this day uh, every man uh, greet every woman <laughs> every woman and we have a lot of you know, flowers and uh, some uh, gifts uh, in this day. So we also have the men day, the day of our. Do you have typical foods? Okay, yes. Do you have typical foods in Russia? Yes, we have. The typical food in Russia is the Russian food is um, usually we like to have some uh, hot and liquid uh, food for um, for lunch. Uh, we prefer prefer to have to have the breakfast. Usually, in breakfast, we, we, you can take in breakfast whatever you want: porridge, some, um, some eggs uh, prepared in any kind, in any kind of uh, in any style. So you can make some sunny side, side some uh, you know, omelet like that. Uh, but during the daytime, usually in the lunch time, we prefer to have some uh, some um, heavy food and the, and the, the hot food because uh, I told you that we have the um, cold climate and we need to feed ourselves and to 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 make the uh, some energy from the inside and in what did you in what did you in different yes it would differ from other countries we like to make to have some soup i know i'm traveling a lot and i know that in europe they have soup at the end of the day in the dinner but in russia we have soup in the daytime and for the lunch and for as the, for soup we have the the borscht we have the, um, the 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 potato soup we have the soup from mushrooms but not not the uh, champignons we have the soup from mushrooms from the forest the forest mushrooms which is quite interesting because uh, as i know in europe they don't have the soup from for the from forest mushrooms they usually have the soup from champignons champignons is not the the best um, the mushroom for the for the soup <laughs> yes and the, in the evening also we have some dinner but we prefer to have a, a, a light dinner um, not to have it very heavy because some, usually it is it's about seven o'clock seven or eight o'clock in the evening time um, this is the difference by the way with the Arab countries or some uh, Mediterranean countries because they have the late dinner after nine o'clock after eight or nine or maybe ten o'clock because they have the siesta time in the day and maybe you have also it in, in, in latin america because you have the very warm climate uh, our climate is different and it uh, of course it makes uh, its own influence to our uh, style of life um, uh, what about the, the the specific food in russia uh, we like we like cabbage prepared in this is prepared in the special um, special methods like um, squeezed and salted uh, stewed. Uh, we like uh, beetroots. Yes, beetroots. We like um, tomatoes, of course, and uh, cucumbers. It's like an, uh, vegetables, and all the um, all the all kind of of, of uh, uh, food with uh, with potato, fried potato, um, mashed potato. We like mashed potato, and uh, we also have we also like uh, meat, meat, chicken, and and fish, especially fish from the far um, farthest part of Russia. Uh, we have one of the best best uh, fish food in in in, in world uh, coming from from vladivostok from habar from uh from that part of from the pacific ocean from the far past part of russia from pacific ocean 
that is the main uh, Russian uh, Russian uh, food, main Russian um, um, in, like lunch or dinner for business meetings. Okay, lunch or dinner for business meetings. Mm. For business meetings, it's, it's a different question because business meet, meetings usually we have the the typical style is is in in the world. So the the business meetings it means that it should not be very heavy. It should not be. Oh, by the way, I can break your yeah, I can break your um, stereotype. Uh, usually um, in the world. Uh, you, a lot of people think that uh, um, Russians like to drink, to drink vodka during the meetings and during the daytime, etc., etc. Et I can tell you the new, new information that now the new Russians, the new Russian generation, the business people who now are very active in business, they don't drink. They don't drink, especially in the daytime. They don't drink vodka. They don't drink vodka at all. They prefer to take a glass of red wine in the evening during the dinner. So it means that if you if you make the business lunch partner, uh, uh -huh. with the partners, you need to prepare a more or less European business lunch. Uh, better not with any drinks. If you want to go to the restaurant in the evening time and prepare and, and invite your business partner, you can offer some drinks like wine, good wine, maybe beer if it's uh, it's uh, appropriate for the for the dinner. But uh, I am not sure that the Russian people, um, new uh, business people, a new generation business people will ask for vodka, and that is the new uh, that is the. Um, new attitude for Russian business and they pay attention for uh, their health they are going to the sport uh, sport uh, um, to the clubs and they are um, they're dealing with the uh, they, they, they pay a lot a lot of attention for their health that's why they don't like to drink a lot and I think that uh, in the nearest future we will see the uh, the movement of this um, of this stereotype uh, towards the new picture where you will find that Russians are not are not drinking a lot. And uh, I think that that you will uh, that in this case you will find the new information. Have you any questions, please? What maybe they have some? What kind of sports do you have? They are where? Ah, uh, no, the business you can do in, in, in each season. <laughs> the business doesn't have the seasons. If you want to have a business, you can come in any time to, to make a business. People now in Russia work hard and work 24 hours, uh, more than uh, you can understand, you can uh, imagine. And uh, uh, they don't have the, 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 the seasons in business. Please come and do business in Russia in, in, in every season. And what kind of sports you practice there? Um, as we have a very long uh, snow period, snow period, cold period, uh, winter period, um, the, all the um, uh, all kinds of um, sports in uh, connecting with winter, connecting with snow, are very popular in Russia. Skiing. The, uh, the, um, the plane the plane skiing, um, the 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 mountain skiing, the skating, and like that uh, you can you can uh, find a lot of Russian uh, sportsmen are very famous in this uh, kind of sports. But uh, we're also very mm, very strong in the in the um, group in the group uh, kind of sports like volleyball like uh, hockey and uh, not in football i'm sorry <laughs> not, <laughs> not in football I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> yes you are more strong in football but anyway in the in the, uh, in the team team uh, team kind of sports are also very strong what else please no when i was not thinking for my name no questions no questions no no questions 
по времени уже подошли. Окей, so our, come, our time is uh, coming to, yes, our time is over. If, uh -huh. In Guatemala we are expecting the World Cup. How it will improve your economy? Mm -hmm. Can you clarify me this question? In Guatemala we are expecting the World Cup. How it will improve your economy? If you meet that uh, we are waiting for the World Cup of uh, the football, uh, the uh, Mundiali in the next year, in uh, 2018, I, I'm sure that um, till that moment uh, we already did a lot for improving our sport, for improving our economy, because we made uh, some um, uh, uh, the, the terrific um, input for this uh, for creating for for me for for creating and for making some um, new new football stadiums in in, in logistic in um uh, on the connection and on in infrastructure in all the cities where um where um the 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 cap will will take place we i know that we, we will have the 11 cities which will uh who will uh, they will uh in, in, host the uh, football uh, games and all of them have the the, the fantastic infrastructure now infrastructure now for this this mundial 2018 mm -hmm. what expectations uh, um, what expect expectations about who will win uh, i'm not sure that russia will win <laughs> <laughs> Truly speaking, I'm sure that Russia will not will win because, unfortunately, in football we are not so strong, and I can't understand why we are not so strong because we have all the resources to be the uh, the good um, football team. But uh, I can't understand. But uh, the expectations of what? Yes, we will have the good. Uh, uh, we will have the good championship. We will make all our um, best to do to make it the the best in the world. Uh, I know that we, according to our Russian mood, Russian values, we will open our heart to all who will come to uh, to join us with this uh, Mundiale. And uh, also, I, I'm sure that it will have some influence also for business, for contracts, for people, for cooperation, like that. I hope we could make some business and investment in Russia and the world. I hope also. And uh, we are very open. Please uh, keep in touch with the people with whom with whom you are in touch. And if you have any questions, if I can personally help and somehow with you, please contact me via the City Business School. So I am. I was very happy to have you with with me uh, today, and I thank you very much for the questions. Thank you for uh, writing them in in, in English. Uh, it was easy for me to understand from the list, uh, from this list, we, uh, who, from uh, Irina's telephone, where you, um, you know, just chatting and asking me the questions. And uh, I would be happy to meet you again. And uh, I would be also happy to meet you here in Moscow, uh, in City Business School. Come to to our business school, and uh, we will um, make our best to greet you here. Thank you.